I'm going to run you through the electrics in my projector lift project. Uh, starting with the 12 volt linear actuator, it draws about 2 amps max power. Uh, it's a cheap one I got off eBay, nothing too special. Uh, we've got a DPDT relay, uh, it's 240 volt switching. You can get 12 volt switching ones, uh, it was just easier for me to use 240 volts. Uh, the 12 volt power supply feeds into the relay and as I said the linear, the linear actuator is 12 volts. We have a Fabaro FGS223 uh, relay uh, which is going to power everything. This links to my SmartThings main box uh, so I can power it through my Smart Thi SmartThings app and various other integrations. Uh, it's really simple. The FGS relay switches on when I tell it to. It uh, turns on this relay, which sends 12 volts uh, in the correct polarity to the linear actuator to move it out. When I turn off the relay, uh, the DPT relay uh, inverts polarity and brings the linear actuator back in. It has built-in limit switches. Um, so it knows when it's fully extended and fully retracted, so it stops. Uh, so no uh, switches or anything for me to mess about with there, quite simple. Um, seeing as I can't use my phone to control this while I'm videoing with it, we're going to use Smart Tiles on the laptop, which is uh, a Smart Things integrated plugin. Um, this button here is for the actuator. You could probably hear the relay click when I pressed it. and. As you can see, it starts moving out. It takes about 20 seconds to move the 20 centimeters. Not very speedy, but it was cheap, so I'm not complaining too much. Um, as you can see, it's stopped automatically. The Relay is still supplying the 12 volts to the motor on the linear actuator, but um, obviously it's hit its limit switch, so it's not actually powering the motor anymore. Um, I think it's pretty happy just sitting there like that. It's as if it's switched off anyway. Um, and then again, if I unpress the button, it starts to move back in. Super exciting watching all that, I know. Uh, and that's it.